Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity. Configure CDP, LLDP and NTP. Just before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Coming back to this activity, here we can see our addressing table. We will go through the objectives. In this activity, we will configure a router to receive time information over NTP and configure devices with CDP and LLDP. Configure CDP to run globally on a device. Disable CDP on device interfaces where necessary. Configure LLDP to run globally on a device. Configure LLDP to send and receive messages according to requirements. Configure a router to use an NTP server. We will go through the scenario. A network administrator has been asked to investigate a new client's network. Documentation is incomplete for the network, so some information needs to be discovered. In addition, the NTP server needs to be configured on a router. Discovery protocols must also be adjusted to control traffic, discovery protocol traffic, and prevent information about the network from being received by potentially unauthorized hosts. Some of the device IP addresses are unknown to you. You must determine what the IP addresses are so that you can connect to the devices over SSH in order to configure them. You can enter them into the addressing table as you discover them. So here in this addressing table, we can see uh, some device IP addresses are not given. So we have to uh, get that IP address and we have to update this addressing table. We will go through the instructions. Use the table below to log on to the branch switches when you need to do so. So here we can see devices, username and its uh, password. Also the given enable secret password. So SW1, BRSW1, BR-SW2 and uh, BR-SW3. And uh, we can see uh, its information. Note, click the fast forward time button in the blue bar below the topology to speed up STP convergence. You can also click it several times to speed up the CDP update process. So coming to this uh, packet tracer, here we can see that uh, fast forward time button. Uh, we can click on it. So um, we can uh, speed up the STP convergence. Uh, also even uh, we can speed up the CDP update process uh, using this uh, fast forward time button. Here, configure LLDP as follows. Disable CDP on the HQ router. So, coming to our topology, here we can see our router HQ. Okay, and uh, click on HQ, CLI. Enable. Configure terminal. And here we are going to give no CDP run. Next is enable LLDP globally on HQ. Okay, coming back to HQ again. And here we will run LLDP. LLDP run. Then on HQ, configure the links to the switches to only receive LLDP messages. So here uh, we have to go to uh, these interfaces where these uh, switches are connected and uh, we should not allow to transmit we must allow only to uh, receive uh, LLTP messages and here we can see uh, this HQ-SW1 is connected to this uh, interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, this switch HQ-SW-2 it is connected to G0 slash 0 slash 1 Again, we will go to HQ and we will go to these interfaces. First of all, let me go to interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. 
and here we will give a L, no LLDP transmit but we have to receive LLDP LLDP receive also we will go to the interface G0 slash 0 slash 1 no LLDP transmit LLDP receive Next is a disable CDP on the HQ dash SW dash one and uh, HQ dash SW dash two switches. Okay, we will disable this uh, CDP on these two switches. Coming to this uh, HQ dash SW dash one. Enable. Configure terminal. Here we will give a no CDP run. Also, we will go to this uh, switch. enable configure terminal no CDP run next is enable LLDP on the HQ dash SW dash 1 and HQ dash SW dash 2 switches okay we will enable LLDP here we have to give LLDP run and in this switch also LLDP run on the HQ dash SW dash one and uh, HQ dash SW dash two switches. Configure the links to the HQ router to only send, not receive LLDP messages. Okay, and uh, here we can see uh, the interface G zero slash one is connecting to this uh, router. In this switch interface g0 slash 1 okay so first of all we will do it in this switch we will go to that interface g0 slash 1 and here we will give a no LLDP receive coming to this switch go to that interface g0 slash 1 no LLDP receive Disable LLDP completely on the HQ dash SW dash 1 and HQ dash SW dash 2 access ports that are in use. So, coming to our topology, here we can see the access port in this uh, switch that is FA0 slash 24, which is connected to NTP server. And in this switch, HQ dash SW dash 2 uh, port is FA0 slash 1, which is connected to PC1. Okay, perfect. So, here uh, we will uh, disable both receive and transmit first of all coming to this switch exit then go to interface uh, fa0 slash 24 and here we will give no LLDP receive also no LLDP transmit next we will go to this uh, switch interface is uh, Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. We have to go to that interface. Exit interface FA 0 slash 1. No LLDP receive. No LLDP transmit. Sorry. No LLDP transmit. Next is configure CDP as follows activate CDP on the branch router so coming to topology here we can see our branch router we will go to this branch router enable configure terminal and here we will enable CDP CDP run next is connect to switch BR dash SW1 over SSH okay you will not be able to open a CLI window by clicking the branch switches. That's fine. So we have to access this uh, BR-SW-1 uh, using SSH. So even we cannot open this uh, BR-SW-1 here. Configure is locked. Okay, we will uh, access this uh, switch using SSH. 
But here, what is the IP address of this uh, switch BR-SW-1? With IP address, uh, we can access this uh, switch. So here, coming to this addressing table, we can see uh, this BR-SW-1 IP address is not specified here. So we have to get the IP address of this uh, switch. Okay, and uh, here we enabled uh, CDP in this uh, router branch. We will go to branch and uh, we will use show command. Exit. And here we will give a show CDP uh, space and then we will put a question mark. We will use neighbors, okay. And uh, here we can see the details. We have this uh, device ID BR-SW-1 and uh, it's a switch 2960 series. But here we cannot see the IP address. So we will give one more show command here. Show CDP neighbors detail. And uh, here we can see the details. Device ID BR-SW-1. And here we can see the IP address of this uh, switch. 192.168.4.250. We can copy this IP address. Even we can SSH from this branch itself. And just to make sure that you update this IP address uh, in this uh, addressing table here for this uh, switch BR-SW-1. We will try to access that uh, switch from this uh, branch or even we can access from uh, any of these PCs. So let me give a SSH space. We will check the format. We will give SSH and then enter. Okay, it uh, says incomplete, SSH, I will put a question mark and here we can see we have to give a dash L, login using this uh, username, dash L and we have to give the username, uh, we can get that from here, BR-SW1, username is admin, it is uh, admin, then we have to specify the target IP address, the IP address of this uh, switch, BR-SW-1. We already copied it. We got that from this show command, uh, show CDP neighbors details. Then press enter. We have to give the password. Here is the password. I will copy that. And paste here. Press enter. So now we are in BR-SW-1. Enable. And we have to give a, a secret password. Okay, now we are in a privileged exit mode. But here in the instruction, they did not specify anything to do with this uh, uh, switch BR-SW-1. Uh, just they mentioned to uh, log into this uh, switch using SSH. Now, connect to switches BR-SW-2 and BR-SW-3 over SSH. Okay, we have to connect these two switches one by one using SSH. Configure the access ports that are in use to not send CDP messages out of the ports. So we have to get uh, its IP address uh, to access these uh, switches. And here in this addressing table, we can see they did not specify the IP address for these two switches also, BR-SW-2 and 3. So we have to get its IP address. Here we will use that uh, show a CDP uh, neighbor command uh, to get the details of these uh, uh, switches. We will give a show CDP neighbors and here we can see the details BR-SW-2 and BR-SW-3. Okay, they are switches but here we cannot see uh, its IP address. We will give this command show CDP neighbors detail and we will uh, get their IP address. Here we can see BR-SW-2. Let me copy this uh, device name and uh, here I will give that. Here I already given the IP address of this uh, switch. Now we will give the IP address of this uh, second switch. Here is that. Copy and paste here. 
we have to update in the addressing table these addresses we have to update in the addressing table perfect and uh, here we can see br dash sw dash 3 and uh, its ip address okay Using this IP address, we can go to each uh, switches. Perfect. So we will see what we have to do in these uh, two switches, SW2 and uh, SW3. So we have to access using SSH. Then we have to configure the access ports that are in use to not send CDP messages out of the ports. So here itself, we can see uh, its access ports. That is uh, FS0 slash 1. And in this uh, switch 3, it's... Uh, fs0 slash 1 which is connecting to pc2 and pc3 even we can identify these uh, uh, ports uh, through this uh, ssh first of all we will go to this uh, switch br dash sw dash 2 uh, let me copy its ip address then coming to branch okay we will uh, go from branch we will give ssh space dash l space then we have to give its uh, uh, username it's uh, admin then it's a target ip address we can verify its username it's admin perfect we'll give in a small letter yeah then we have to give its password i will uh, copy from here now we are in this uh, switch to switch dash to Enable, secret password is here, paste and presenter. Here we will give a show command, show uh, CDP neighbors. And here we can see they used these two interfaces, uh, local interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 and uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 24. Uh, these are the neighbors. And we can give a show IP interface brief command. And we will verify the interfaces they are up. Here we can see the interface FA0 slash 24 and uh, FA, I mean uh, G0 slash 2. These two interfaces are uh, shown here. And we got one more interface that is a fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So this will be the, uh, you know, uh, access port, obviously. We will go to this interface faster thread 0 slash 1 and uh, we will disable uh, CDP. Configure terminal. Then we will go to interface uh, FA 0 slash 1 and uh, here we will give a no uh, CDP enable. Next we will go to this uh, switch BR dash SW dash 3. Uh, we will copy its IP address. Okay, and uh, here we will give that give end SSH space dash L space username is admin, then the target IP address, the IP address of that switch. Then we have to give its uh, password. It's here. Copy and paste here, then press enter. Enable. And we can see now we are in this uh, switch BR dash SW dash 3. Here is the enable secret password. Perfect. Here we will give a show CDP neighbor, neighbors command. And we can see uh, FA 0 slash 24 and G 0 slash 1 are the local interfaces in this uh, switch. Now we will give a show IP interface brief command so that we can identify its access port. Uh, here we can see uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 24 and uh, G 0 slash 1, they are up. Then here we can see uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, uh, this port will be the access port. So we have to go to this port and we have to disable CDP. Configure terminal we will go to that interface fa0 slash 1 and here we will give 
no cdp enable now coming to the last point configure ntp network time protocol configure hq to use the device at 192.168.1.254 as an ntp server so we can see it's uh, the IP address of this NTP server 192.168.1.254. So we will configure uh, this uh, HQ to use this uh, NTP server. So coming to HQ, enable, configure terminal. Then we will set this NTP server here. We have to give a NTP server IP address. Just I will copy this address, the IP address of this uh, NTP server. Press enter. We will give fast forward time here so that this uh, HQ will receive time from this NTP server. Okay, we will go to HQ and uh, Let me exit. We will give a show clock. We will put a question mark after this. We will give a detail. Well, we will verify first show clock. And here we can see the uh, details. Okay. Uh, it shows August 23, 2019. We will uh, try to go to NTP server. Okay, here we cannot see the services. Okay, perfect. So we will use the show command here show clock we will give a detail and here we can see the specified time source is uh, ntp network time protocol used okay perfect that's all in this uh, packet tracer activity that is configure cdp lldp and ntp now, dear friends, if you have any doubt or any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity, please comment below or even you can uh, reach our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.